Good evening and welcome. We're coming to you from the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore. And with us today is Kevin Hongwe from Alipay. So welcome, Kevin, yeah. to the Fiji Symposium. And first of all, how does it feel like to be part of the first Fiji Symposium? Yeah, actually, this uh, event is very good, especially three um, international organizations work together, especially for this um, ecosystem of uh, financial inclusion. It's uh, very good. Thank you for being here and we're happy to have you. Uh, also, can you tell us more about the potential of digital financial services to increase financial inclusion? At first, uh, we should understand what's the uh, financial inclusion. Financial inclusion is the uh, delivery of uh, financial services at uh, affordable uh, costs to the average pe people and also the uh, small businesses and uh, especially for the, um, some people in rural area. With these uh, digital financial services, they can break through a lot of uh, uh, limitations. For example, with this, we, we can, based on the uh, telecommunication network and also internet, serve uh, many, many people, like uh, people in rural area and also some uh, di disabled person. So it's the first uh, uh, break through the limitation. The second one is uh, in the traditional financial services institutes, they have some uh, opening hours. So with these uh, digital financial services, they can uh, provide services at uh, any time. And uh, the third uh, thing is uh, we can use a smartphone and some uh, yeah, to get uh, all these uh, financial services. Yeah. yeah, all of this can improve, promote the uh, financial service. Yeah, so a lot of uh, technology which is yeah. going to help us promote, yeah. Uh, so, uh, according to you, what are the key innovations that have made Alipay a reference in the digital financial services? Yeah, actually, I think there is uh, one keyword. It's a uh, tech thing. It's not fintech. We just use some uh, innovative technology to promote financial inclusion. Okay. And uh, currently we use uh, like big data, uh, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and also biometric uh, uh, authentication. And uh, it's uh, the comprehensive solution. For example, the artificial intelligence will use some big data cloud computing to provide uh, these uh, financial services and uh, also the um, biometric authentication and the re risk control also need this uh, big data and uh, artificial intelligence. Correct, yeah. correct. So when you say about biometric uh, and digital ID, are there any concerns related to protection and privacy of personal data? Yeah, actually uh, identity information is uh, very sensitive. So um, we just use um, a lot of uh, other information for biometric authentication, especially in some uh, local verification. For example, in smartphone, we um, user just uh, input uh, biometric authentication local, and uh, there will be some uh, comparison the, um, about uh, this uh, biometric authentication, and this sensitive information will not leave smartphone. It's uh, the yeah, just uh, use some uh, trust uh, environment. Uh, it's, I think, yeah. most the important thing. Great, yeah, and uh, actually, uh, in our company, we um, have uh, collaborated a lot of uh, partners in financial services uh, partners to establish uh, IFA. The it's the abbreviation of uh, Internet Financial uh, Authentication. Aliens, so it can make much more uh, better the uh, like uh, biometric, yeah, biometric authentication okay. for this uh, ecosystem. That's yeah, great. That's my That's understanding. Great. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, okay. Kevin, for being part of this. Thank you very much.